觉得加帕他的斯瓦尼，他不仅仅是在印度，他自己管辖区内能够活跃，而且他在北印度、南印度、印度的各个部分都非常的活跃，而且多年以来他还主管着尼泊尔和孟加拉国。And he's encouraged a lot of congregational preaching. He's done a lot of work trying to encourage devotees to develop the congregation. 他做了很多获众传播的工作，他鼓励大家奉献者们去发展获众的传播。And here, of course, he translated the book by Bhaktivinoda Thakur about Namhata, about how to organize the different preaching centers and how to organize the different people and what services each person should do. 当然了，他还翻译了 Shila 嗯 Bhaktivinoda Thakur 的一本书，关于如何发展 Namhata， 这个是怎么组织传播，还有不同的人应该做什么事情的一个描述。So we're all very indebted to His Holiness Jayapataka Swami Maharaj for doing so much service. We're very grateful to Jayapataka Swami Maharaj for doing so much service. And last week we had also the Vyasa Puja ceremony of His Holiness Indrajumna Swami Maharaj. 上周我们还庆祝了圣座 Indrajumna Swami Maharaj 的 Vyasa Puja. And he's another wonderful example to us. How? Dedicated his life to spreading Krishna consciousness around the world. He is our one of our most important examples of how to spread Krishna consciousness in the world. He is our one of our most important examples of how to spread Krishna consciousness in the world. He is our one of our most important examples of how to spread Krishna consciousness in the world. He is our one of our most important examples of how to spread Krishna consciousness in the world. And he's done a lot of research about Vrindavan and the different holy places in Vrindavan. Indrajumna Swami Maharaj 最近一直住在 Vrindavan， 他做了很多的研究，就是关于 Vrindavan 的那些不同的圣地。If you listen to some of his classes on the YouTube, very wonderful, very informative. He tells us all about many different holy places around Vrindavan. 如果你们要是聆听他在 YouTube 上的讲课，你们会发现非常的有信息量。他告诉你们很多关于文达文的这些圣地的信息。Indrajumna Swami has been traveling and preaching for nearly for more than forty years now. Indrajumna Swami 直到现在他已经旅行传播了四十多年。He took sannyas when he was a young man. 他还是年轻人的时候就做了 sannyas。Dedicated his full energy to traveling around the world, preaching. And at the same time, he writes his uh, his uh, diary of a traveling preacher is very nice to read. He always shows his own life, traveling, and writing. He writes his diary of a traveling preacher. He writes his diary of a traveling preacher. He writes his diary of a traveling preacher. And his kirtans are unforgettable. And his kirtans are unforgettable. Tamal Krishna Goswami used to tell Indrajumna Swami he wanted Indrajumna Swami to come and travel with him. He said, "You can take the place of Vishnu Jan." 以前 Tamal Krishna Goswami 常常告诉 Indrajumna Swami 说，您该跟我们一起去旅行，你可以取代 Vishnu Jan 的地位。Previously, Tamal Krishna Maharaj was traveling with Vishnu Jan. Vishnu Jan Swami was a famous kirtanier. 先前，塔玛罗·维什诺·格·斯瓦米跟维什诺·詹·斯瓦米一起旅行。维什诺·詹·斯瓦米是非常著名的做皮尔坦的奉献者。So Tamal Krishna Maharaj was telling Indra Jumna Swami, "You should come travel with me, and we'll go and preach." 因此，塔玛罗·维什诺·格·斯瓦米就告诉 Indra Jumna Swami 说，你应该跟我一起旅行传播。And Indra Jumna Swami also, he later on, after Tamal Krishna Maharaj departed from the world. He regretted. He said, "I regret. I never took up that opportunity." 在塔玛罗·维什诺·格·斯瓦米离开这个世界隐迹之后，印度的斯瓦米后悔了。他说：“我从来都没有接受那个机会。” But he continues his traveling and preaching, giving a lot of mercy to to devotees everywhere. 但他继续旅行传播，给所有地方的奉献者很多的仁慈。Then a few days ago, we celebrated the appearance day of Gadahar Pandit. So Gadadhar Pandit, one of the Panchatattva, he is the incarnation of Sri Mati Radharani and Lord Chaitanya's pastimes. Gadadhar Pandit, he is in Krishna's Shilas Shivam, which is Sri Mati Radharani. He is in Krishna's Shilas Shivam, which is Gadadhar Pandit. 
Dr. Gadar Pandit's home was very near to Lord Chaitanya Nimai Pandit's house. He grew up as a friend of Nimai Pandit. And Gadarhar Pandit had intense attachment to Lord Chaitanya. He never wanted to be separate from Lord Chaitanya. So when Lord Chaitanya took sannyas, Gadarhar Pandit followed him. When Lord Chaitanya went to live in Jagannath Puri, Gadadhar also came to live in Jagannath Puri. And when Lord Chaitanya wanted to go and travel to Vrindavan, Gadadhar Pandit wanted to go with him. But Lord Chaitanya wouldn't let him go. He said no. You have to stay here in Jagannath Puri. Gadadhar Pandit had taken a vow to stay in Jagannath Puri. He had taken something called Shetra Sanyas, where the Sanyasi stays in the holy place. So, Gadarhar Pandit was supposed to stay there in Jagannath Puri, but he wanted to go with Lord Chaitanya. He couldn't bear to be without Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Chaitanya had given him the deity of Tota Gopinath to worship. And he was supposed to maintain the worship, but but he wanted to go with Lord Chaitanya. He said, no, I said, I just, I, I, someone else can take over the worship. He said, I, I, have to, I want to go with you. But Lord Chaitanya was not pleased. Lord Chaitanya liked to see the devotees to be very steady in their service. He didn't like the Dharma Pandit to give up his service. Still, Gadadhar was very determined he was going to follow Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya told him, You should stay in the holy place, stay in Jagannath Puri. And Gadadhar said, wherever you are, that is a holy place. And he said, seeing your lotus feet is better than worshipping Tota Gopinath. So, finally, Lord Chaitanya just left him. He got in a boat and left him. Gadadhar painted. Gadadhar had to tolerate the separation from Lord Chaitanya. Of course, after some time, Lord Chaitanya returned to Jagannath Puri and he resided there in Jagannath Puri. And regularly, Lord Chaitanya would come to be with Gadadhar Pandit. And Gadadhar Pandit would recite the Srimad Bhagavatam to Lord Chaitanya. Gadadhar Pandit would Chaitanya Srimad Bhagavatam. Lord Chaitanya was very fond of hearing the pastimes of Dhruva Maharaj and the pastimes of Prahlad Maharaj. And every day they would sit together and relish the topics of Srimad Bhagavatam. When Lord Chaitanya departed from the world, it was unbearable for Gadadhar Pandit. Within less than one year, Gadadhar Pandit also departed from the world. Mm -hmm. 
So the temple of Tota Gopinath is still there. The devotees there are very nice. They always accommodate us. They give us, we can go there and they arrange prasadam for the Iskand devotees. Tota Gopinath is still there. They are 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 still there. We don't get to go into the big temple, but at least we can see Tota Gopinath. So that's the deity of Tota Gopinath is very special because originally it was a standing deity, but it became very difficult for Gadar had to worship because the deity was so tall and Gadar had to stretch up to put ornaments on the crown. It was difficult for him in his old age. Tota Gopinath's shape is very special. 对于格达卡尔潘迪特而言，他很难把自己的手伸上去给神像的头冠上戴一些珠宝，尤其是在他年迈的时候。So, appreciating the difficulty that Gadar was having in worshiping him, the deity of Tota Gopina sat down. 是想到格达卡尔在崇拜他的时候付出了很多的艰辛努力，所以 Tota Gopina 的神像就坐了下来。原本这个神像是站着的。It's a very special. You don't see many deities of Krishna where Krishna is sitting down. This is a very special deity. Usually, you don't see many deities of Krishna where Krishna is sitting down. But this was Gopinath's reciprocation with the service of Gadadhar Pandit. But this is Gopinath's reciprocation with the service of Gadadhar Pandit. But this is Gopinath's reciprocation with the service of Gadadhar Pandit. Another nice pastime we took place with Gadadhar was when they were still in Mayapur. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had taken initiation. He went to Gaya and he taken initiation from Ishwara Puri, and then he gone to Kanai Natsala, and he met. He been embraced by Krishna there. So when he came back to Mayapur, he was really in ecstasy. 另外一个小时光非常的美妙，发生在马尔普这里。朱雀参加马哈普布去了嘎雅，得到了伊什尔普里的启迪。等他回来之后，他在路上去了卡奈纳达沙拉，在那个地方得到了克什纳亲自的拥抱。等他再回到马尔普这里的时候，他便一直处在狂喜之中。So he would constantly look for Krishna. Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? Because in Kanai Natsala, Krishna had appeared to him. 于是他一直在寻找 Krishna 在哪里 ？Krishna 在哪里？是因为 Kanaina t a s a l a k r i s h n a 显现在他的面前。Kanaina t a s a l a means the place where Krishna dances. Kanaina t a s a l a 的意思是 Krishna 跳舞的地方。Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada describes Kanaina t a s a l a as being non-different from Vrindavan. Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada 描述说。And it said, when Krishna disappears in the Rasa Lila, at that time he comes to Kanai Natsala. 据说当 Krishna 在 Rasa Lila 的时候消失了，然后他就来到了 Kanai Natsala. So Krishna is still appearing there, dancing there. Krishna 仍然在那个地方显现，仍然在那个地方跳舞。And five hundred years ago, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually met with Krishna there. Krishna embraced him. 五百年之前，主宰他的马哈迪实际上在那里见到了 Krishna， Krishna 拥抱了他。So、uh, Lord Chaitanya came back after seeing Krishna, and he was really feeling great pain and separation that Krishna is gone. Where is Krishna? And he was asking Gadadhar Pandit, Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? 主持人，他因为他已经见过了克什纳，克什纳拥抱过他，所以他一直在寻找克什纳到底在哪里。他就问格达达尔潘迪特，克什纳在哪里？ And Gadadhar said, Oh, he's come. He's in your heart. He's in your heart. 格达达尔说，他就在你心里，就在你的心里。But when Lord Chaitanya heard that Krishna was in his heart, Lord Chaitanya began to rip open his skin. He wanted to tear out his heart because he was so anxious to get Krishna. 当主持人的马哈婆婆听到这番话之后，他立刻的就想撕开自己的皮肤，想撕开自己的胸膛，因为他非常迫切的想要找到 Krishna。And mother said she was watching, and she saw Nimai ripping open his chest, tearing at his chest, trying to find Krishna, and she 
she was helpless, she didn't know what to do. But Gadar Pandit was there, and Gadar Pandit restrained him and told him, It's all right, calm down. Krishna is coming soon. He's coming very soon. Just wait. So Mother said she thanked Gadarha Pandit that, oh, you're such a, an intelligent young man. You dealt so nicely with my son. You please always stay with him. So Gadarha so had that mood. He, he, did, he always wanted to be with Lord Chaitanya. So when Lord Chaitanya departed from the world, Gadara also had no he felt no reason to remain. He also left the world. So in a few days on Wednesday we will sell the it's a, on, on the 4th, it's the day of Akshaya Tritya. Akshaya Tritya means the third day of the bright month. And it's considered a very auspicious day to begin new projects. Mm -hmm. If you're planning to open a business or you have a new house, you want to move in, it's a good day to move into a new house. Or if you want to uh, make it buy gold, people often buy gold on this day. People like to start new projects. So marriage is also sometimes on that day. So the, this Wednesday they're opening this big temple in Patna. Even the Prime Minister Modi come there for the opening. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in the morning, not easy to get these people. Yes. Anyway, uh, it's an auspicious day to begin new projects. And, uh, it said that Srila Vyasadeva began writing the Mahabharata on this day. The Mahabharata is a very big book, it's very big, very voluminous, many, many slokas, many verses. The Mahabharatas which we have are not really complete. Because the major part of the Mahabharata is Bhishma's instruction to Maharaj Yudhisthira. Right, we know Bhishma was laying on the bed of arrows and Lord Krishna came there with Maharaj Yudhisthira. Maharaj Yudhisthira was feeling very, dis very uh, disconsolate. He was feeling very disturbed in his mind that he'd been responsible for the death of so many people during the Kurukshetra War. And Lord Krishna brought him there to prevent other Bhishma to pacify him. And Bhishma spoke 
for many, many days giving instruction. Because Maharaj Yudhisthira is going to become the he's the emperor now. They won the Kurukshetra war. They killed all the Kauravas. So now Maharaj Yudhisthira is in charge. He is the emperor of the world. So Bhishma was instructing him how to organize, how to rule everything. So the Mahabharata as we know it, we only know about the war and every day different people dying, the different jewels and battles which take place. But if you actually get the full Mahabharata, then a major portion of it, a huge portion, is Bhishma talking to Manasudhisthira. Srimad Bhagavatam is 18,000 verses. Valmiki Ramayana is 24,000 verses. But the Mahabharata is a, more than 100,000 verses. So it's, a, you, you know, it's a really big, big thing. Of course, and part of the Mahabharata we have also part of it. So Srila Vyasadeva chose to begin writing on this Akshaya treaty. So any of you want to write your, your book, you know, it's a good day. Krishna consciousness is ever fresh. We need more and more to write, to write the, the to write about Krishna consciousness and to describe the teachings of the acharyas and to present there are so many nice books for us to read, and there's, we can always have more books. Recently somebody gave me the book which His Holiness Giri Rai Swami wrote, which was let there be a temple, which is the, about how Prabhupada wanted the temple built in Jumu. So he spent more than 20 years writing that book. It's a very wonderful book. We hope the Chinese devotees will get a chance sometime to read it. Maybe some kind of person will translate it for you. There are so many wonderful treasures from the Acharyas, from the nice devotees. The Krishna, the Krishna Consciousness Movement has a great legacy. All the books of the Acharyas, the Goswamis, they wrote so much just for our benefit. And Srila Prabhupada wanted us that we would study the books, we would read the books. And then we would teach them to others also. We try to give Krishna consciousness. Lord Chaitanya did not just chant and dance. But he was speaking 
the message of worship. He was speaking the, the scriptures. He was teaching the scriptures. He was explaining the scriptures. When he met Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya, he listened to Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya for seven days. But then he explained to Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya the meaning of the time. And similarly, Lord Chaitanya met Prakashananda Sarasati, and he explained the Danda Sutra to Prakashananda Saraswati. When he met with Rupa Goswami, he explained to Rupa Goswami all the details of Ras and how there's many different levels of Baba, different symptoms of Baba. Lord Chaitanya explained all of these different things to Rupa Goswami and told Rupa Goswami to write about it. And the result was we got the Bhakti Ratsamrita Sindhu and Srila Prabhupada wrote a summary study of that book in the form of the nectar of devotion. And after that, then one of Prabhupada's disciples, Dhamma Daraswami, he wrote a book called Waves of Devotion. It's very, it's very helpful. Waves of Devotion is very helpful for us to understand the message of nectar. And then Lord Chaitanya met with Sanatana Goswami and he taught Sanatana Goswami about the importance of Vaishnava etiquette and the different principles which were required in following, uh, in cultivating Krishna consciousness for the devotees. <laughs> The different uh, how to follow Ikarasi strictly, when to break the Ikarasi, and when there should be fasting on Mahadwarasi, these kind of things, Lord Chaitanya explained all of this to Sanatana Goswami. So Sanatana Goswami wrote, he wrote all about this, he, all the teachings he got, because Lord Chaitanya, he had spoken to Rupa Goswami for 10 days, but he spoke to Sanatana Goswami for two months. And then later on Lord Chaitanya met with people like Swarup Damodar and Ramananda Rai who used to associate with them in Jagannath. Ramananda Rai and Swarup Damodar Goswami there. Ramananda Rai is considered the, the Gopi uh, Lalita uh, Vishaka and Swarup Damodar is the Gopi Lalita. Swarup Damodar is considered the and Lord Chaitanya would discuss with them very elevated topics of philosophy. So Lord Chaitanya was a, the greatest pundit, the greatest scholar. He's Krishna himself. So, as Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, by all the Vedas I am to be known. Indeed, I am the author, I am the compiler of the Vedas. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> 
。主审他的是最伟大的哲学家，因为他就是 k r i s h n a 本人。在巴格比特之中，他提到说，研习所有的伟大经就是为了了解我，我就是伟大他的编纂者，所以他了解所有的一切。So he would like to discuss. He would discuss topics of Krishna with the devotees. 因此，他想跟奉献者们一起讨论跟 Krishna 有关的话题。This is the business when devotees come together. 这就是奉献者们聚集在一起应该做的活动。Discussing, enlightening each other. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, "Machita machita prana bodha yantas parasparam." Tatayantas chamamlityam tushyanti chaaramanti cha. The thoughts of my devotees dwell in me. Their lives are surrenders unto me, and derive great satisfaction and bliss, enlightening one another and conversing with one another. 奉献者们在一起就应该互相的讨论，而且互相的启发。正如巴格比特里对世界所提到的一样，我的奉献者思我想我，他们全呼吁我。他们献出自己的一生讨论我，并且从互相的讨论之中得到极大的喜乐。This is abhidaya gyan. Abhidaya gyan. There are three levels of knowledge. There's sambandha gyan, abhidaya gyan, prayojana gyan. 这个属于 abhidaya gyan。在我们的过程之中呢，有 sambandha gyan， 有 abhidaya gyan， 还有 prayojana gyan。Abhidaya is the process of devotion. Abhidaya 指的是奉献服务的程序。We want to apply that process. We 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 want to apply And they're even devising ways for people who cannot read how they can study the Bhakti Shastri. 而且现在大家还找到一种办法，对于那些不能读书的人，怎么去教他们学习 Bhakti Shastri? You may not be able to read, but you have ears; you can hear. 因为虽然你不能读书，但你有耳朵，你可以聆听。You have a tongue; you can talk. 你有舌头，你可以讲话。You may not be able to write. But you can speak. But you can speak. So we want, want everyone to study this Bhakti Shastri to know the teachings of Lord Krishna. 因此，我们希望每一个人去学习 Bhakti Shastri 来了解 Krishna 的教导。No, if we are really devotee of Krishna, we must know what is Krishna's teaching. 如果我们是 Krishna 的奉献者，我们必须了解 Krishna 的教导是什么。Okay, Hare Krishna. Uh, any question? 有什么问题吗？您您刚才讲到我们过这个 Dharmak Swami Vaya Sakti Jaya， 您说 Dharmak Swami Vaya Sakti Jaya， 除了这个，呃，我们过这个 Vaya Sakti Jaya 是为了他他们代表学 Vaya Sakti， 向师父传信领导致敬之外，我们过这个节日对我们灵性上有什么好处？除了崇拜师父传信和 Vaya Sakti。Well, the benefit is that you're glorifying. Not only the the spiritual master, you're glorifying the whole disciplic succession. 好处是你不仅仅荣耀于信导师，你还在荣耀整个的使徒传承。When you when we perform the dance of puja, we're glorifying the the, the teacher because he represents the disciplic succession. 通过庆祝维亚斯普家，我们荣耀这个老师，因为他代表的是整个的使徒传承。What, whatever we offer to the teacher, it's not for him. It's for him to give to his teacher, and it goes to Krishna. 我们给这个老师供奉的，不是说给他的，是为了让他，然后给使徒传承供奉，然后一路走向科什纳的。We're offering respects to the to the teacher because what he represents. 我们向老师致敬，是因为他所代表的。So it's the duty of the disciple to honor the teacher in this way, and the teacher will honor his teacher. 门徒的身份就是应该去这样的尊敬他的老师，而老师的他的这个身份应该是尊敬自己的老师。We have a, we have a debt. We have a debt to the spiritual teacher. You can never repay that debt. 我们亏欠灵性导师的，我们永远也偿还不了对灵性导师的债务。So, a small effort towards 
repaying or to showing our gratitude to the spiritual teacher is by performing that Vyasa Puja ceremony. So But it's not just to glorify only the one teacher, but it's to glorify all the teachers. Everyone who is the representative of the Yes. If you want to get second initiation, Bhakti Shastri is only part of it. You have to study the Bhakti Shastri, but you also you have to be good in your sadhana. You have to practice nicely. You have to be, you know, regularly hearing and chanting. Not just only study Bhakti Shastri, and then okay, then I don't do any more reading, don't chant anymore. And so there has to be a, usually there has to be a recommendation from the 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 devotee, the senior devotees. And to be second initiated means you may be expected, you may be called on to give classes. Or they may ask you to perform deity worship, to do the puja. Of course, cooking is also required also for second initiated devotees. People who do cooking for the deities, they should be twice initiated. So it's, it's taking more, the, the idea is that with second initiation, you will take on more responsibility, and you will be willing to do more service for Krishna. What about our status quo now? It's not really devotional service. We are just on the path of trying to learn how to perform devotional service. So, what's the problem? Yeah. Okay. Confirmed. No, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> just, just try and be a, a good student. <laughs> Well, if you're a good devotee, if you surrender, if you do what you're told, 
Then Krishna will make arrangements to take you back home. 如果你要是一个好奉献者，人家告诉你做什么你就做什么的话，那 Krishna 会安排你回归家园的。You cannot just go to Krishna. Look, I'm qualified. You have to take me back to God. 你不能去找 Krishna 说，看我已经有资格了，你得带我回归首身。You cannot demand to Krishna. 你不能去要求 Krishna. You have to surrender. 我们必须要臣服。See what Krishna wants you to do. Where Krishna wants you to be. You cannot be dictating to Krishna. You cannot be dictating to Krishna. You cannot be 不起离，是否有资格变？是否有机会变得有资格接受起离？翻译。They are asking,、um, now I'm not taking initiation because I think I'm not qualified. So when I'm qualified, then I can take initiation. But that day will come that finally I will become qualified and then I can get initiation. Very good. <laughs> 就那一天有没有那一天，在我死之前有没有那一天 ？That's your problem。啊，那是那是我的问题，那是问题。这个思想。There's no guarantee that that day will come. 不能保证那一天会到来。哦 ，Maybe next time. 可能下一次。哇哈。还有个你，呃，我们学巴克·萨斯奉爱经典课程的目的，只是为了二次启迪吗？还有没有更深的意义 ？What is the purpose yes, for studying Bhakti Sastri? Of course, the purpose is to increase our knowledge, our realization, our understanding. 这个目的是增加我们的理解，增加我们的，就是说，嗯，做这这些方面。We're giving our time, our life to Krishna. We want to understand why. What is Krishna's teaching? 我们把自己的生命献给 Krishna， 我们想理解 Krishna 的教导是什么？那那马上，我学巴克斯尔就一个目的，二是洗礼，可不可以？别的目的我不要，我就要这个。<笑>哎，有的奉献者都是这么我就是为了二是洗礼。我说没别的目的，没有了。But when you get your second initiation, what are you going to do? But、um, when you get the second initiation, what are you going to do? 我已经讲过了，二次启迪意味着你要承担更大的责任。You're supposed to cook. You're supposed to worship the deities. Maybe you have to speak. Get class. 你应该去做饭，你要崇拜神像，可能你还要去讲课。Oh, here's the question. 那个，如果不二次启迪，就一次启迪，可以回归首神吗 ？Only by first. Yes, you can go back. 可以回去。The first initiation is most important. 第一次起的更重要。你呢？还有一个。说说，赶紧说，赶紧说。别笑，笑我好害怕。时间，时间，赶紧说。我想问，你下午热，已经二次起立了，根本就没有学习八级三十分的，这不等于我们根本就没有资格呀？他已经二次起立，但起之前没有学八级三十他说。好吧，就这样。Well, now we're putting up the standard. If you want to increase the standard. 现在我们把标准提高了，我们想增加我们的标准。So you you got special mercy. <laughs> you got your second initiation without doing Bhakti Shastri. But nowadays, if you want to get second initiation, you have to study Bhakti Shastri. But now, if you want to get second second initiation, you have to study Bhakti Shastri. But now, if you want to get second initiation, You should study Bhakti Shastri. If you get the second initiation, you don't study Bhakti Shastri. Now you should study Bhakti Shastri. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
收听什么？就你给我发的那个电子版的那个，我打不开我的手机。啊，对，冯海刚说，我打不开，这我就我着急，着急，特别着急。我今天吧，我这个念，我这个念珠，我好好的这大正点儿，出不来本来他，我不知道念珠怎么丢了，他是我的生命哦。这是起名的念珠。没有，没有，没有，我这个故事说了，起名故事说了，没有，没有，这这比我的生命还重要，没有他，我等于这个起名的念珠丢了。再找，再找。没有的，没有的。没问题，你的 guru gave me the, the guru gave you the holy name. He didn't just give you beats. He gave you the holy name. 你的 guru 并不仅仅给了你念珠，你的 guru 给了你的是圣名。他的 guru 说了一句话，说圣名是给门徒的，不是给念珠的。对。<laughs> I was listening. Shadadanya, there was this one devotee, this senior prophet disciple. He was telling me. He was telling. Uh, he was saying he was serving Prabhupada, and he lost his initiation beads. So he came to Prabhupada and he asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada, I lost my initiation beads. Could you chant on these beads new beads for me? And Prabhupada said, I gave you the holy name. That's enough. 有一位资深的帕帕德的门徒沙帕丹尼帕布，我跟他交谈的时候，他就给我讲一个故事。他有一次丢了自己的起迷的念珠，然后他就去拿着另一套新的念珠去找舍友帕帕，说：“我丢了我的起迷的念珠，您能不能在这套念珠上再给我念一遍？”舍友帕帕说：“我已经给了你圣名，这就足够了。”对。Oh, my God. 